Stefan Mitzner is a kidney specialist at the Rostock University Clinic. He studied here when this was still part of East Germany. Even before the fall of the wall, we were at work in the main research division of the Clinic for Internal Medicine in Rostock. It's always specialized in kidney disease, dialysis and renal replacement therapy. That's what Rostock was known for and attracted students for, myself included. As a student, Mitzner observed doctors, development engineers and well-trained clinic and lab personnel all working together on their research. It's true that the renal medicine in particular had a very good reputation because of the active clinical and research program here. That served as a model for the entire Eastern Bloc, both in terms of quality and quantity. Mitzner was still a student when the wall fell. There was little sense of change inside the clinic, but it was different outside on the streets. This is a building many people here know from the days of the peaceful revolution. This was the state security headquarters in Rostock, and it was a target of the Monday demonstrations that we had here, much like the ones in Leipzig. The demonstrators marched down the August Bebelstraße Ring Road. Mitzner and his fellow students joined in. State security photographed and filmed the demonstrations. The students didn't know that, but they were worried their careers were on the line. The fall of the wall turned out to be a big stroke of luck for Mitzner. It gave him new opportunities to start developing an artificial liver. One of his first trips to the West was to a symposium on the subject. In a way, the symposium was decisive. It was an eye-opener for the Rostock group because our goals were already very precisely formulated in terms of the development of this kind of organ, for example. But the solutions were just not feasible in practice. One result of this symposium was that in the car and train coming back, we started coming up with our first ideas about what we could do better. A few years ago, the researchers in Rostock presented their artificial liver for cleansing blood of toxins. Now it's the world's most widely used device when it comes to saving people dying of liver failure. Meanwhile, scientists are working on another dialysis process for use in cases of blood poisoning. Initial clinical tests on patients have yielded positive results. If not for the fall of the Berlin Wall, Stefan Mitzner is certain he wouldn't have come nearly as far as he has in his work.